Hello, welcome back to my channel. It is time for my makeup basket for May. Now you hopefully saw that I was having my YouTube subscribers choose my makeup for the month of May. So I went through and kind of chose groupings of things that I was maybe considering using. Then I had everyone vote on the community tab and it was so much more fun than choosing the products myself. <laughs> because that's always the hardest part for me is choosing between the things so it was just so much easier to have YouTube choose it for me. So thank you so much. We will definitely do this again. But I wanted to talk about the things that were chosen and show you what I'm using in May. So let's get to it. So for primer we had four. The CoverGirl whoa, uh, Matte Ambition Primer, the Catrice One Minute Face Perfector, the Arborean Extra Matte Primer, and the Rodile Soft Focus glow drops. And the soft focus glow drops won by a long shot. Um, and I'm kind of glad. I, I haven't really, I've used these but not consistently. So I'm kind of excited to try these and I love the packaging. It's glass packaging. It has a dropper. I'm curious to see how this works. So that is the primer for me. The next thing we're going to talk about is blush. Okay so for blush we had well, I'll just show you about one because there were so many things. So the picture that had the most votes was the picture that had the face palettes in it. So we have the, I think this is called the California Dreaming Palette. There's no name on it. It's from Lorac. It just, am I, am I blind? Like, does it say it on here somewhere and I just don't see it? I don't know. But it looks like this. It's a beautiful... Pretty, pretty neutral <laughs> blush palette, which I love. And then there, this is also a a highlight kind of blush topper shade. I haven't used this in a while. I love this palette actually, but I definitely haven't used it in a while. So I'm I'm, I'm glad to, to pull this out. Next we have the Becca Blushed with Light palette. This has Wisteria, Songbird, and Snapdragon in it. And this is another favorite blush palette of mine. I like that it's just three colors. Three or four colors is pretty much the most that I have realized that I'm going to use in a blush palette. Otherwise, I just I just don't for whatever reason. So I think that this will be really great to use, and I do like Becca blushes a lot. The next face palette is one from Koki Cosmetics, and this is called the Blush Up Blush Palette. And this is the shade Blushing. This is the most peachy of the palettes. You know, peach isn't my most favorite blush color, but I do own some peach blushes, so I should use them. I have three of these uh, blush palettes from Koki, and I really do enjoy the formula. They're pigmented, but easy to blend. And the last two are both cream blushes. This is the Rare Beauty Blush in Joy, and I cannot remember if this is a matte or a dewy one, but I do love this type of, like, for as much as I don't really like peach blush, I love orange or red blush. I don't know what that says about me, but I think this is a really nice blush formula. And then the last one is the Flower Beauty Blush Balm in Pinched, one of my all-time favorite cream blushes. It's real good. It's a very blendable blush. I love that liquid blush. It's one of my favorites. The next category will be Highlight, and this, I had two options. This picture won by one vote. So we have the Persona Cosmetics. Yeah. Did you need a blanket? No, he's got one. Okay. Is one enough? Or are you going to make them all cut? Do you need more blankets? Sure, let's make you a little look, sir. Oh, there you go. and he was growling at the door. The first highlighter is the Persona Cosmetics Cali Glow Highlighter in Zuma. Love this. I really have yet to try anything from Persona Cosmetics that I don't like. I think the brand is just so lovely. I really enjoy truly everything that I've tried from the brand. Um, and this is no different. Beautiful, kind of a champagne gold Highlight. The next one is the Jouer Rose Gold Highlight. I have not worn this yet. I don't typically wear like a rose gold highlight, but this looks like it's not too 
rosy gold. It looks kind of champagne as well. Um, so I, I, I definitely wanted to try this. Then we have the CoverGirl True Blend Super Stunner Highlight in Pearl Crush. And this is very luminous, I guess. It's a really nice highlight from the drugstore. It's right here. I can't really see it that well on my hand. I can see it on my hand. And then the last highlight is from Catrice, the More Than Glow Highlighter in Supreme Rose Beam. And I actually did buy both of these. Um, I think the other one is somewhere. Maybe I put it away. Because I've seen so many people saying that these are just completely like, oh my gosh. Like that? Ooh. I haven't swatched it yet, clearly. I might bust out the gold one too this month because these look beautiful. And I hadn't swatched it yet, so I'm very excited. Okay, so the next category is eyeliner and this one by far, this had the most amount of votes and these are the most colorful eyeliners, which I appreciate. I love a colorful eyeliner. So we have the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Boots, a pink. The Milani, we have two from Milani. These are both called the Metallic Lights. This one is in, oh gosh, they put the, the font is, the font color is the same color as the packaging for this one, so I think it's called Starlight. And then the blue one is called um, Blu ray. These are very creamy. Oh my gosh, I thought she was screaming. That was my child. This, uh, these are very creamy, um, metallic, very pretty eyeliners. I don't know if they still make these, but I wish they would come out more because I like them. And then lastly, we have Urban Decay 24-7 in Overdrive because I need a green every month. Because I love green. Our mascara, the winner was the Ilia Mascara. And this is called the Limitless Lash Mascara. I typically choose two mascaras each month, so that then the runner-up would be the Kat Von B. No. KBD. Listen. If I say Kat Von D, you know I mean KBD. I don't know. I've never... It actually still says Kat Von D on this one. <laughs> I just got this. Oh. I got it as a freebie. Yeah, so this one still says Kat Von D, but whatever. Uh, so these would be the... This was the winner, and then I will use this one as the runner-up. I'm not anticipating loving this one just because of the packaging, but maybe it'll be amazing. Who knows? For lip products, the winner was by one vote, and that was picture one, which has the Fenty Beauty Slip Shine in Tang Fang. I'm very excited to wear this. I love the Retro Rose Slip Shine. I haven't actually worn this one yet, but I'm pretty excited too. The Milani Ludicrous. Uh, lip gloss in Kiss from a Rose. It's bright pink. We have the Rare Beauty Dewy Lip Balm in Support. The Cover FX Monochromatic Lip Color in Warm Honey. I don't love this color, but I want to. I've only worn it once. Maybe I'll feel different when I have a little bit of sun on my face. Who knows? I'm hoping. I usually choose more than four lip products, so I'm going to choose the next runner-up set as well, and that is the Milani Ludacris Gloss in Just Peachy, the Persona Gloss in Pink. These glosses are so lovely. I love these. The Fenty Pro Kisser Luscious Lip Balm. This is truly just like a lip balm. It, it, it is in a color, but it's extremely minimal. And then the Smith & Colt Liquid Lipstick in Kissing Tiny Flowers. I really like this guy. So we're gonna do two categories for that one. Next we have the setting spray, and the options were the Pure Cosmetics Matte Mist, the Jane Iredale Paw Mist, the Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite Setting Spray, and then the Pure Cosmetics Lip Mist. And you guys chose the Lip Mist, so I'm gonna be Glowy Primer, <laughs> Glowy <laughs> Setting Spray, We'll see about that. There's nobody in there. <gasps> I love her. 
there's a bunny in here, I had to go look. All right, and then the last item that you guys chose was the perfume for the month, and the options were the Dossier Fruity Orange, Taj Sunset, Escada Taj Sunset, the Jimmy Choo perfume, and then the Times uh, Gold Leaf Gardenia. You guys chose Dossier Fruity Orange, which is their uh, version of Clinique's Happy. I love this perfume. I said when I hauled this, I love this perfume in the summer because it just, it does feel happy. It feels like a cheerful, sunny perfume, and I'm pretty excited about this guy. You guys did also choose my palettes for the month, um, but I'm going to do those in my project palette video. You guys chose the category for that on Instagram. The only other thing that I'm going to add in is this Milani Cheek Kiss blush because I want to try it. And I'm basically not going to remember if I don't put it in my makeup basket. So I will also be using this this month. This is in the color Nude Kiss. I do love a cream blush. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for choosing my makeup for me. I know that sounds lame, but it really was so much more fun than me doing it. <laughs> and uh, maybe Maybe we'll do this next month or maybe we'll take a break, you know, we'll do it again. It was, it was quite fun. So thank you guys so much for watching. Do you have any favorite products you like to use in May? Is there like May makeup? Thank you guys so much for watching. I will be back to update you on the palettes you chose for my next video, I think, which will be my project palette video. And um, that's about it. I'll talk to you in my next video.